Hi, this week I'm going to show you how to make a mobile like this that you can hang somewhere in your house or even in your bedroom. Um, you can even hang it outside, I'll show you how you can coat it. You can see on my one I've put a sun and a cloud and a hot air balloon and at the end I have a rainbow, a rainbow for the NHS. I've also made another one to show you and this one is a fish. It is a fab to hang up somewhere in your house and they are so very, very easy. So I'm going to show you how to make them. All you need to make this is some cardboard, some paint or something to colour in with, pens, anything like that. Some of you have white PVA glue again. If you don't have that, maybe you've got something like a print stick at home and string or wool, anything that you can tie it all up together with. So, and a bit of tape is always a good idea. Some masking tape or some cello tape. Really easy. Um, first thing you have to decide what you're going to do. Maybe you would like to do one like me and do the sun and the clouds. And very simple. Or perhaps you would like to do maybe a theme of space and you could do a moon and stars or like the other one I've done, like the fish. But it's up to you, completely up to you, and it, it sort of depends what you're into, maybe where you want to put it. I think this time I'm going to try and do um, a moon, a moon one. So all I need to do is on my cardboard, just draw the shape out. There's a the crescent moon. It's as simple. Cut it out. And... Chop it out, and the other one I might do is I might do um, a rocket. So there's my moon cut out. I could do a rocket on here just to do a rocket. So very really simple. I'm going to do the shape like that, and there we go. I can do some fire coming out at the end. Just something very simple, it doesn't have to be difficult. And then cut that out too. I'll just cut a couple out, you'll get the idea of it really easy and then you can decide what you want to do yourself. But I'll cut a, a couple of these out just to give you the idea of it. So. Once you've got them cut out, now there's two ways of doing this. A nice simple way is to cut the same thing twice so once you've cut it out once you lay it down on the cardboard again oops draw around it and cut it out again and that means that when you put your string on you can stick it in between each bit like I've done on the fish you can see on the fish you can't see where the string is because it goes in between it's sandwiched inside it so once I've done that, I'll do, I'll, I will do it with one of them, I'll do it with the moon, just to show you how it works. So I'm going to lay it on top again, I'll draw around the moon. I could have even done the man in the moon, so I could have put uh, a nose on him too, it would have meant that I could put an eye and all bits and pieces on him, which might have been quite fun as well. So cut this one out. The good thing about doing it this way is you can stick them together and sandwich it. So when I put my string inside that you won't see it at all. But I'm going to show you the other way on this one. So on this one I want a little bit of a relief shape, which means the bit, the, the bits of it that stand out, it makes it so it's more three-dimensional, so it's not just flat, and it certainly makes it more interesting to look at. Um, so I'm going to cut the little windows out and I'm going to stick them on and make that one a wee bit smaller. Um, when I've got that, I'll just put a bit of glue on it and pop it on. Now I would do that with all of those windows just so they all stand out a little bit more. You can see if I go sideways, it just makes it all uh, um, just a bit, a bit more of a sculptural type piece so 
Um, then once you've got that, once you've got them all, you want to put them together. There's different ways of doing it. But here we go, I've got some wool here. And what I'm going to do is take a little piece of tape. I'm going to leave a gap then between each piece of my mobile. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the tape around the piece of string. And then I'm going to pop it on here. And I'll put another piece of tape on the top. This means it won't slip. Another piece over the top. And that's it on and ready. I've left a bit of the top for hanging. And once I've got that, I'm going to put my PVA onto that side where the string is. This white glue is great for all sorts of things. And I'm going to pop the other bit on top of it. Make sure the string at the top is in the place I want it to be. So, now, all I need now is a gap. And then I'll put my rocket on underneath. So the rocket I would have cut out as well, the same way I would have cut two of them out. Done exactly the same thing. Now I want to leave a little bit of a space in between. And a really good way to make a spacer is to make a bead. You can see on these ones, they have got beads in between them, a type of a type of bead. Really easy to make. Now we get so much junk coming through all the time. Um, you might have a magazine at home. Either way, you want a piece of paper that's shiny, shiny type paper like magazine paper. And what you do is you cut a strip and you taper it to a point at the end. So you cut it so it's pointed like that. And then you want to take a pen or a pencil or a paintbrush. I'll just use my brush because it's here. And what you do is you roll, roll it round, roll it, roll it, roll it, all the way up. Then you can slide it off and the bit that's pointy is left over. Put a little piece of PVA glue on there and then roll it again until you have a bead. And that's a perfect spacer to put in between things. So you can do a few of those up. You can make them ready to go. And they just take a few minutes to dry. They're very quick. And once you've got to that stage, you can, oops, let me cut this off. It's easier to work with. You can slide your string through the hole all the way up and that makes a good spacer to put in between them um, and then you're ready for your next bit so where's my rocket gone there it is. so my rocket would be next so same again I'm going to get a little piece of tape and I'm going to lie it down on your table so you know where your position is um, where you want it to be and wrap the tape around your string stick it to your rocket put another piece over the top of it and I actually made my bead too small because I do want it to be um, I want it I wanted a nice big bead or I could put make a few beads to put in between but there we go that's that ready for so then I would put my next bit of rocket on and you build it up you just build it all the way down like you can see I've done on this one now this one here I've done slightly differently because all I did with this one was I made a hole in it so I'll just take that one apart again for a minute and if you want to do it this way all you need to do is go to the bottom piece I'm going to take this one apart so there's my moon and I'm going to make a little hole in it you can use a little scratcher that you had for your art activities so hold on to that one um, pop a wee hole through it if you can it should be sharp enough if it's not sharp enough then um, be very careful that you can use the edge of a pair of scissors but being really careful you can even get an adult to do it for you if you if you need to once you've got a little hole then what you do is slide your string through there so 
Okay, there's my string again. Slide it through. I'm going to use my scissors just to help me pop it in into place. And then, oh, doesn't want to jump in. I've got it's a bit sticky because I've got the PVA on this one, but it'll be much easier when you don't have glue on it. So slide it in, and then you want to just tie it off. It's always good anytime you tie anything off. If you do a double knot, it works much better because you know it's not going to slip or slide anywhere. And then all you need to do is trim off the wee excess bit so it's not sliding, so it's not uh, falling out. And then you go on to your next one. So this one, I'm going to make the hole at the top of this one. And that means I can pop the string through again. So part one, part two is going to the end. And slide string through again. And that's this part. All I'm going to do now is put a little piece of tape onto that as well, just to hold it in place. And then I'm ready for my next one. So with my next one, I'm going to put another hole into this one. I'll put a hole at the bottom this time. And I'm going to put another moon after that. All sticky still from my glue from my <laughs> first attempt. I'm going to slide that through there. And you keep going, you basically keep going. You can add as many things going up and down it that you want. You just keep adding them on all the way down. And once you've done that, you need to paint them or, or colour them. Now, it is better if you've got paint in the house. The paint does work better because it's a bit heavier. So I suggest that you paint them, first of all, in white paint. Cover the whole thing in white paint and let it dry. And when it's dry, then start putting the colours on. Because if you paint directly onto the brown, you have to do quite a few layers because um, the colours don't shine as bright. So that's a much easier way to do it. So paint the whole thing in white first. You can see this one I've not quite finished off because I've just paint white, I paint a layer of yellow when that's dry then I put my face on and the same with the clouds. So you can see on these ones I've put a piece of relief to make it three dimensional and you can see it on there too. So each one has got a little extra bit added onto it and sometimes the cardboard that you use might have the ridges in it, corrugated type cardboard and that's great too because you get great texture in that. Oops, this one's sticking to my other one now. And then at the end, I've got my rainbow. I could also have maybe done a few little bits hanging down from there again and added some raindrops. That would have been nice. Or I could have put my name on a little piece there. But these are fabulous to make. And if you wanted it so you could put it outside, then really simply, all you need to do afterwards is get the white glue again and coat the whole thing in white glue. Even two coats of it, let it dry, put another coat on. And it means it's a little bit waterproof. Um, so it won't get all wet and soggy. It will all be covered and then you can hang it maybe in your garden. You might have um, a nice patio or somewhere that you'd like to hang it. Or just make one that you can hang in your bedroom. And they're great things to make as presents for people too. I hope you enjoy making them. Make your own picture mobile. I'll see you next week. And next week we're going to make a plaque for your bedroom. So next week if you could collect together some cardboard again and some tinfoil. And we're going to make a really fun plaque to put somewhere in your 